Welcome back, Brewers. I'm Daniel with Keg King. Last time we were hanging out, we were doing a pressure test where we lifted a 1.5 ton ute with four 35 liter Fermenter King snub nose tank bodies. This is one of those tank bodies. And just to show you, most of the damage on this is cosmetic on the outside. Obviously, it's thrashed. You wouldn't really keep using this. If you had damage like this to your fermenter, you could always just get a new replacement tank without any scratches on it, cosmetically beautiful and looks more like something like this. Just to showcase that the plastic that we use is really strong. So if you were sitting there kind of wondering, should I go stainless steel? Should I go plastic with pressure fermentation? Either way, try getting into pressure fermentation. There's great benefits to it. But when it comes to plastic, it is more affordable than the stainless steel variety. Now, all of our pressure fermentation vessels are individually pressure checked. So we know that they're good to go well up to double the pressure of the PRV that's in the lid. So the PRV in the lid lifts at around 35 PSI. We test each and every single one of these off the line to five bar of pressure. That's double that 35 PSI. So what we'll do is we'll blow this out, pressure check it, and we'll throw a work kit into it and we'll get that fermenting. So I've gone ahead and sanitized the inside of the tank. I've got a gas cylinder with a gas disconnect. We'll go ahead and reinflate this fermenter at about five PSI. We'll watch it take back on most of its original shape. What would you do with these old ones when they're damaged or um, ready to retire? Well, you can always cut the bottom out of them and get our granary kit and turn this into a grain storage vessel. You can probably also do topiaries and you can also do maybe an aquarium with it. That's up to you. But there is life for these tanks after they finish their usable life as beer tanks. So if you're wondering if they're reusable, recyclable, there's all sorts of other ways that we can move these on and get a second use out of them after they finish their usable pressure life, which is about two years of use under pressure. Now we'll go ahead and get a uh, fresh work kit. In this case, we're just gonna do the All In Brewing Company's fresh work kit. If you guys haven't been using fresh work kits, if you're an extract brewer and you wanna try an all grain beer, these are a fantastic way to go about that without having to have a brewery system. All the all grain kits are basically just a bag of wort, like a goon bag of wort, 15 liters in these boxes. And there's also other varieties in HDPE containers that are about 16.5 liters of wort. You take the wort, put it in your fermenter, top it up with water if you want to, add yeast and ferment it out. Be careful when you open these boxes too that you don't slice through the bag. You've taken off the cap. You're ready to go. Get this part fitting so it's straight down into the fermenter. Open it up, let it rip. All of these kits are already pre-hopped. So everything that you need to make good beer is right there, but you can always bling them out with whatever else you want. Be it dry hops or more hops or fruit flavors, whatever you want. That's everything there. Now, just to make it a bit more sessionable, we're gonna go ahead and add about five liters of water. That was four liters of water. Go ahead and pop that into place while we get our yeast ready. So in this case, we're gonna use uh, White Labs Pitchable Yeast that we also sell at Keg King. Um, this one is the WLP 518 Opschwag Quike Ale Yeast. But the difference between this yeast and others is that at high temperature, it still tastes as neutral as if you had fermented at the proper ale temps around 18 degrees for other varieties of yeast. So it's kind of unique like that. Go ahead and pitch the yeast. You could make a starter if you want to, but with Quike, it's almost completely unnecessary. So ideally, I would take this variety of Quike up to about 35 degrees and leave it there and fermentation will be finished in about 36 hours, sometimes faster. With this, now that we've watered it back, uh, with an original gravity of about 1060, we've watered it back to probably about 1050, 1045 maybe. We've got our lid back on top and it's nice and tight. Go ahead and sanitize the gas post, with a little bit of ethanol or sanitizer spray if you have it. Put it into the gas post or the gas disconnect as well and set it onto the post. Set the end tip of this spunding valve to 10 PSI. 
Now this yeast is gonna work really quickly on this beer because of the variety of yeast it is, and we're gonna do a warm fermentation on it. And we'll actually be able to tell you a little bit about how it tastes, because we're gonna try this beer when it's finished fermenting. We'll be able to serve directly out of this vessel and carbonate in this vessel, even though it looks like it does. Cool, and we'll come back and try this beer with you. So the beer is finished. It's been under pressure for about a week. Um, it looks like it's dropped pretty clear. Uh, there hasn't been any leaking out of the fermenter because these are all just kind of superficial cosmetic scratches on the outside. We fermented the beer in it anyway just to see if it would, to see if there was anything that was wrong with the inside of it. There isn't. So today I'm gonna to be using a picnic tap just to get some of the liquid out into a glass. We'll go ahead and taste it. If it's any good, we'll peg it. If you're using a picnic tap ever, um, remember to keep it closed when you put the ball lock on because if it is open like that, it starts to flow immediately. But anyway, in it goes. And let's see how we go with just the natural pressure from fermentation, let's give it a taste. Eat more hops, but it's excellent. <laughs> I love it. The uh, Opschwag yeast works really good because it's uh, room temperature or you can take it hot or you can use it cool. It will screen through fermentation if you bring it up in temperatures. And we just had it sitting out at uh, office temperature. All right, brewers, enjoy. Thanks. I'm gonna have another. Ah, <laughs> oh, I love my job.